Hello, and welcome back to Plain Old Gaming. We are here in Deponia, and we're just going to meet Cletus. So, he looks pretty much exactly like Rufus, just like from Elysium. So, we'll see if we can find any answers. There he is right there. Alright, bud. Let's see. Greasy hairdo, ugly cape. What does Goal see in this war? Hmm. This guy's luggage. I bet he forgot the bolt cutter. <laughs> of course not. You never know if you have to cut through a wire fence. No. Oh. Oh. Okay, my sound is off again. Ugh. I'll go with cold. Fine. Okay. What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom, boom. <laughs> yes. Boom! The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? <laughs> what will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, physically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, there were rumors. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now, guess who this inspector is? Hmm. Uh, I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh, one thing that I don't understand. Besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, <laughs> why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties. They block trading routes. And they steal babies in the northern quadrant. Which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses <laughs> had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay. That means... Deponia won't be blown up, right? Hmm. No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Oh. Deponia will be blown up after all. What? Do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Hmm. Never let that happen. Well, I will never let that happen. Well, in that case, we don't have a deal. Too bad. You would have liked life in Elysium. Let me just quickly contact the Organon so that they can... No, no, no! Oh, wait a minute! I wasn't finished yet! I'll never let that happen is something that somebody somewhat attached to Deponia would say. I, on the other hand, uh... Hmm. I think he's being a bit indecisive. Blow up Deponia? That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But <laughs> blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish, cremate, eradicate. Just like that. Whoa. Hmm. 
All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? Hmm. There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. Oh, oh. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. <laughs> say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? <laughs> and then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can watch my ass disappear. I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out. You hear me, dad? Count me out. And you know something else? <laughs> I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litter bug now? Huh? Who's the litter bug now? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? Hmm. Huh. All right, all right. Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. Hmm. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Hey, yes. Have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. Hmm. Strange. Stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. <laughs> but you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'll go and fetch gold, finally. Well, that was pretty fun. These two guys are pretty much... They are really alike. Strange how that is. I have no idea why, but let's see what we can do. Hmm. I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. Right, we got Darth Vader wannabe over there. See if we can knock out the lights. Hmm, I have a projectile. All I need is a weapon to use it with. Oh, all right. Hmm. hmm. Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Okay. Ammunition. Check. Aha. Uh -huh. Battle stations. Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So please carry on. All right, that should make it easier. One step closer, and mayhem will ensue. Right. Let's see if we can get that lampshade. Carefully. have an idea. 
Let's get to this thingy. And stick this in here. <laughs> this looks strikingly like Cletus's hairdo. It does, doesn't it? With this mop, the flag would look like Cletus from behind. But there's still. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Together with the lampshade, the flag looks exactly like Cletus's cape. Now all that's missing is the greasy hairdo. Got that. This will be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. I think I know what to do with that. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Let's see if we can get past. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Now, weren't you supposed to be waiting out on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see very much from up there anyway. Somehow I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge? Uh, yes. Well, where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man. Time is running out. See what this cartridge thing he's talking about is. No idea. What you got for us, Cletus? Hmm. Ah. The organon said something about a backup cartridge. Well, that is none of your business. You uh -huh. take me to go, and I'll take you along to Elysium. We didn't agree on anything beyond that. So I guess we won't be trading junk ball cards. No. <laughs> All right. I need the backup cartridge. Oh, I'll have to disappoint you. It won't help your lack of brain capacity, I'm afraid. I still need it. And <laughs> what, pray tell, do you need it for? Goal is unconscious. What did you do? Was her implant damaged? Don't worry, she's okay. Yes, yes, okay, great. But what about the implant? <laughs> is the implant still working? I think so, yeah. What do you mean you think so? Without Goal's implant, I'll never be able to leave Deponia. So why don't you give me that damn cartridge so I can go and wake her up? Yes, yes, okay, fine. <laughs> Here's the cartridge. But as soon as she's awake, you'll bring her here immediately. Understand? And God help you if the implant is damaged. You really love her, don't you? <laughs> yeah, he's nice. Let's see if we can actually sneak past Argus this time. Like, seriously, these guys just... They totally remind me of Jeez. stormtroopers <laughs> and... Let's go. Like... Star Wars. Like this, this guy. I have surpassed myself. Argus. Totally Darth Vader character in this. This is weird. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Well? Well, what? The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? Yeah, I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh, well, uh... But, my dear bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Hmm. Let the ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the Ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, we'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. 
Isn't that right, Ambassador? Of course. Yikes. And that other guy. Oh boy, that was pretty close. I think I can get rid of the disguise for now. I doubt they'll fall for that a second time anyway. A totally flying gyrocopter guy. He is totally our emperor. Like Star Trek parallels. I mean Star Wars. Where's Cole? Cole! Darn it! He's gone! I'll have to leave it there for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And, um, next episode we'll be following this trail to find goal. So, stay tuned and, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.